Okay, uh, hey everybody. I just wanted to get back a little bit more with uh, where I was headed with this. Um, so I've done quite a bit of building on top of this, uh, what you saw, right? Okay, so, but now uh, we're going to deal with some uh, nav meshing. And I'm going to show you how to nav mesh. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty complete. Like, I got to, this, uh, this area is probably a good place to show nav meshing, at least basically, and then I have to do the stairs anyway. So let me just go and um, do, 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 do. Right. Okay. So we got to nav mesh this area. I wanted to get better focused. Now, uh, nav meshing, as I said previously, was um, is basically how the characters know how uh, where they need to walk. So all of the uh, NPCs know where they need to walk. Um, so right now we have it set to all these different selections. Uh, there's edges, uh, vertices, which is the, the the points. The edges are the walls or the thing. They're all connected. Now, for whatever, I've had to like turn one off before, so I can't edit that one before. Uh, but anyway, for now, I'm going to use them all. It should be fine. Uh, so basically, what this is is a bunch of triangles. That's pretty much how it works. I'm not sure if I can fix this kind of overlay or if it'll really show up in game. But I guess we'll find out. So, uh, so we want to click. Oh, let's turn off markers. Markers are off. Okay. So I'm right clicking and then I'm holding the control button. So what I did is I just uh, completed a vertice. Now if I want to select one of these I can hold the control button, and when you move like that, see now I have these vertices in place, uh, and I can move these around individually. When they're connected like that, you end up moving all of them. But if I just wanted to select one, I could do that too. Let's move that up just a notch so it's above the little trash that I put there. Um, let's do this one again. And so uh, this is basically all there is to it. Um, there's really not much more to it. It's you connect dots like that, and if you get stuck like that, you can press A. Uh, that will complete it. But as you can see, you got the two green tips, and with those green tips, I can uh, con continue the line by pressing Control and then uh, right-clicking. So we're just going to keep... I thought I turned markers off. Let me see if I can turn markers off. There we go. Okay, because that's really annoying. It's very distracting. Looks like I already screwed up. Look. Because uh, these things cannot cross. If they cross like this, it's not going to work. So we're just going to delete that point. And we're going to go back to my other two points here. Ah. So, and that one. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong button. All right, so control button. There we go. There we go. All right, so now I need to do that. And um, control, hold that. And we can start setting up these uh, vertices uh, or uh, tries. So it looks like I can do a big one here. Now, the more you have, the more uh, problematic it could be. So you want to uh, try and limit that if you can. Okay, so now I have get uh, these two are green, right? So I can kind of just go like, uh, okay, well, those two are green. So let me kind of go like that. And if I keep going side to side like this, it'll keep being green where I want it to be green. So let me do that. And I um, actually might have to change that, or we'll do like this. There we go. See, so now, uh, there we go. All right, now this is, I wanted to show you this a little bit. Uh, this happens occasionally when you're doing this. Uh, so you just got to look out for what you're putting it on. All right, we need this to be able to get into this door, so we're going to go like that. And I think I can adjust one of these. we got to get these two lined up. So let's get that, and boom. Okay, so now they can walk around the couches. That is the goal. So I'm left-clicking just to select it. See, so now my NPCs can actually go inside this office right here, and I'll show you that too, right? So you just kind of drag it in place, and you go over to the other room. These are doors, 
and I can do like that because the green is still there. And now you, uh, what you want to do is cut around the furniture. So we're going to just cut out the furniture like this. Because you don't want your NPCs walking into furniture, right? Of course not. So you kind of cut around the furniture, the plants, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to move this one in a little bit because we don't need it that far out. Uh, do a large vertice here. That should be fine. And we can do a smaller one there. And that one did not jump above the world, so we should be good. Uh, let's do that. And probably can do that one. No, that's, we don't want you to wait. Actually, that's not good planning. So what we're going to do is like this. Those chairs actually don't get used. They're uh, not usable chairs, but this chair is. If I had the markers on, you would see that this has all these marks around it, which means characters can sit on it. Uh, all right, see it rose up a little bit because I have something there. So we might want to get in here. And you want to have the marks go all the way up to where you actually want people sitting. Uh, Otherwise, they can't actually reach the place that connects them with the, the seat itself. So we want to get these in here, like that. And we still got that issue, but that's okay. Uh, it's fixable. All right, so that should be enough. Um, I'm gonna have to adjust these guys. Obviously, that's not gonna that's not gonna work. So we use again. We use our Z button. And this one's too high too. So Z button it down. And there we go, like that. And for no other reason than they now they can reach the whiskey. Oh, now the whiskey's up there. All right, so that's not a big deal. All right, so this is basically how nav meshing goes when you actually are to a point where you want to start nav meshing things, uh, which, uh, you know, depends on how far you want to go with it. Um, I tend to be kind of thorough, so I want to get all the places so the NPCs have relatively free movement. Okay, we can do that, and that's, we don't really need that, so we can move this one in the corner, we can bring this one down here, maximize the space, just my way. So you see now, um, they're connected through this door, so they can go um, through the door, if the door opens and you go inside, they can follow you in. So if you want your NPCs or your, your, uh, your companion to follow you, this is what you have to do to all your spaces, uh, otherwise it's not going to work, it's not going to work. Okay, so now I'm just going into this hallway, and this is, I, I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of an over uh, view of how this actually works, and then I'm going to show you stairs after that. Now I have another door here, so I'm going to have to account for that door. There we go, all right, so now we can probably go like that. Oop, is that high? No, we're good. All right, so now we can take this one, move it down just a little bit like that. There we go. And then they have full access to this region. Now I'm going to have NPCs in this back area. So I need them to be able to walk around. And I'll actually, I'm probably going to have to fix that too. Let's take, because I need these in order to carry, you see, like these are the gateway to, to the door. So in order to carry through, I need two on the edge of a door. All right? See? See, now they can walk through there. Without that, they would be confused. They, they could probably, they can, I think they can skip over, like, smaller sections, but you don't want to have too big of a section. Otherwise, your NPCs will get lost, and that's no fun. So we're just kind of going over this. All right, I'm probably going to have to switch over to this one. And it's just a process of trying to figure out how it's going to work. Um, and you got to think about maneuverability and if uh, you're going to have a problem with them being able to get where you need them to go. Um, so this is important. You can also finalize the cells and a variety of other things in order to find hiding spots. Um, I mean, that one you might want to research because I'm probably not going to get into all that. I just kind of want to give you a, a primer. Um, Perhaps in a future episode, when I'm ready to finalize this location, I can actually consider, you know, doing something like that. So this is looking pretty good. They can walk pretty freely. It does need to be perfect. 
It just needs to do be where you want it to be, right? So I'm almost finished with this one. There's very little room left to grow in here. So we're just going to finish up. Boom and boom. Okay, so that area is now walkable. See? So as we go above, in the nav mesh mode, which you activate by pressing this button right here, uh, so that button will put you in a nav mesh mode, and you close out by just Xing out. It's fine. Uh, so what I have to do though is stairs. I'm going to show you these stairs that I built. All right, that I put together. And it looks like I already started it, at least in the entrance way. Um, okay, there so we've gotten this far. So now stairs are, of course, going to be a little bit tricky. Because you got to get up the stairs, right? They have to be able to walk up the stairs. And if I just like press it anywhere, then it's not going to work. But it's it's really not that big of a deal. It's just kind of you got to think about it. So if I go like that and that, I actually think that'll probably work fine. Um, if I drag this out, just for my own sanity, sometimes I bring it up so I can actually see it uh, the way it's meant to be seen. Right. Because it's not going to make a difference. The NPCs just need to know they can walk there. They're not going to go floating off into space or something like that. Um, yeah. So you bring it a little closer to the edge. And then you get uh, the idea of what they're uh, supposed to look like. Maybe bring these ones back a little bit. Right like that. There we go. As long as my uh, lines don't cross, my tries don't cross. And it, there's quite a bit of room for... Uh, error there. If I just bring it up just a notch with my uh, Z it up. Yeah, that should work just fine. Okay, I mean, that's basically all it is now. This floor is connected to this floor, and I can continue my nav mesh here. Um, like so. Uh, I have not decorated this region yet. I'm not even sure I'm finished designing the rooms and stuff, so... Uh, so I'm not going to do this part yet, but I could. I did feel pretty comfortable doing this part because that's basically where I'm going. I mean, if you have to adjust something, you just grab a point and you just drag it around, and you know. But uh, the important thing is that it's away from the furniture, uh, so they don't go. Your NPCs don't look like idiots as they walk into furniture. I mean, you might even want to give more room than I did. I, I, you know, I'm not sure if there's any kind of like area where we're like, oh, no, you gave it too much room. No, it's too, it's too close. Now it's confused. You just confused your NPC. It won't work now. It's just going to sit there walking against it. <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, you get the idea, I think. Right? Can't really walk under there, can we? Well, there's a lot more building and a lot more nav meshing to go. I'm sure we'll get into that uh, in a future episode. But this will do for what I need it to do. And it'll also hopefully give you enough of an illustration that you understand the concept of nav meshing. Uh, without this, they will not walk, you know, no NPCs can walk there or move. Um, in, in this version of the CK, they don't even appear to go there. I actually had to add a nav mesh to my uh, prison cell down below, which I've expanded on. Um, you'll see at some point in the future, maybe playing my mod. I don't know. We'll see what I share and what I don't share. But I guess that's it for now. And um, we'll talk more later. And, um, or, well, we probably will never talk. Well, some of you I'll talk to. I don't know. It's, it's all so confusing. All right, let's close that out. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. I'm going to save that. And I think that's all we need on, on this particular lesson of now.